What's up guys? You're tuning into the channel. Gosh, my nose is so red. Look like Rudolph. I just popped the Z right here. That's why it's so red. Please don't find it. <laughs> okay, for this vlog, me and Renee, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch. I don't know if that's the right tense, but me and Renee watched the Lion King 2019 remake, which is perfect for us because we're really big fans of Lion King. It's like our favorite Disney movie of all time. I'm pretty sure it's hers too. And we both like lions. And as you can see, I still have the shit. And admittedly, Renee is a bigger fan of Lion King than I am because she like watches it a bunch of times a year and she memorizes the entire movie word for word. Not even kidding. And it's perfect because when it started showing here in, Phil here in the cinemas in the Philippines, it was our monthsery. So of course, that's how we wanted to celebrate our monthsery. So, as usual, we were supposed to get tickets first, but when we went to Glorietta, the movie scans there didn't fit in well with our schedule, so we moved over to Greenbelt, but when we, after walking to Greenbelt, we got really hungry, so we got lunch. And then we ate at Motorino Pizzeria, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, we got pizza and pasta because, well, I was craving pizza and pasta. And then afterward, of course, we couldn't just watch Lion King with our regular clothes. We had to watch it with Lion King on us. So we went to Uniqlo. They had like a lot of different Lion King stuff, but I mean, it was nice, but we just weren't feeling them. So we saw this Lion King shirt in Bershka. Sadly, they didn't have any men's sizes. So I just got like a larger version of the women's size. So this is actually a women's tee. Which, you know, whatever. I guess it's just lucky that the way the shirt is cut isn't like how women's shirts are usually cut when it like curves inward as I have curves that curve outward. So this is like a straight cut tee basically. After buying the shirts, we couldn't wait so we just changed it immediately and then we kind of realized that we don't like being super matchy to the point that we're wearing the exact same thing so I still wore my button down over the shirt. So after that, on the way to the cinema, uh, Rene got yogurt. And then we bought tickets. We still had like an hour to kill before the movie starts so we went to time zone and then we played. And then I don't know where the self confidence came from, but we even played a game of just dance in public. But that's the only clip you're going to see because even though it was funny when I was watching it back, I felt the cringe and it was and our dance was very very cringy. Wow, I always knew you were the better dancer. <laughs> and then we even did some video okay, in time zone. which we kind of enjoyed too much because we lost track of time and we had like a little time left before the movie started. So we got popcorn, we watched Lion King. Really, really great movie by the way. To the very... Oh my gosh, my thumb did not cry, it was so good. <laughs> my only comment about it is that they made it 
I think that they made it too realistic that it kind of lost a bit of the fun, but either way, it's still really good. And the ca the voice casting was really great, you know, Donald Glover and Beyonce. But I think above everything else, the most perfect voice was Seth Rogen as Pumba, which when the trailer released till some time after we both watched the movie, I kept tell I just kept telling Renee how perfect Seth Rogen is. I mean, even his laugh, I can imagine him as Pumba. Hey, Timon. <laughs> that was a bad impression. So after the movie, we still had like a couple of points left on our time zone card. So we just finished them off. And then that was our date. So that's it for the vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. Peace. And before we say bye, here's our what I here's our what I think are really cute time zone photo booth pictures. Okay. Bye.